And while everyone's been focusing on the lack of toilet paper and hand sanitizer at the supermarket, you might not have noticed prices are going up on basic foods. As NBC6 Ari Odzer shows us, you can blame it on COVID-19. It's inflation in action at your local supermarket. Prices of basic food items are up, sometimes way up. And the president of the five-store local chain, Doris Italian Market, says we can blame the pandemic. So for sure, it's certain certain commodities. Eggs, eggs is probably the, 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 the one that stands out the most, where the prices have really shot up, and availability. Um, beef prices, we've noticed a huge increase in beef prices. So when you say, like, eggs have shot up, give us an example. Like, how much are we talking about? Oh, 200 to 300 uh, percent. We, we, you know, when we used to be a dollar ninety-nine a dozen for jumbo eggs, you know, we're, we're over four dollars now. Those rising costs impact businesses further down the food chain. At Buenos Aires Bakery Cafe, the owner says his profits are down about 60 percent. Prices are going up, but they're stabilizing. Um, it's it's a difficult task to to keep our costs low. You know, we're not. Gouging prices. We haven't raised any prices. The COVID 19 pandemic makes it harder for Ryan Morozowski to operate. He buys his milk at wholesale markets, which now only allow two gallons per customer. Normally, we can go through anywhere between 60 and 80 gallons of milk in a week. So, only buying two gallons uh, doesn't really cut it for us. The big box supermarkets are feeling the same pinch. You'll see some price hikes in Publix, for example. And the company sent us a statement saying, when customers see an increase in pricing, it is because the cost associated with the item has gone up. For consumers, though, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. The prices of basic commodities appear to be leveling off, and the merchants think that soon they'll be back to normal. We already see it in the poultry um, market where it's starting to ease up a little bit. Um, the, the beef is still, still kind of tight. Um, we're, we're hoping um, shortly that will ease up as well. Food for thought as the pandemic continues to impact the food we eat. In Sunrise, Ari Odzer, NBC6 News.